We're now going to look at something which is power apps and some of the flow capabilities. So that's kind of where the investment has been. A lot of the focus is around leveraging the rest of the Microsoft e uh, ecosystem. Um, and some of that has to do with things like power apps and flow. Um, so we talked about the common data service um, in the past. And this is some thing of a way that you can then now leverage the common data service to really build out kind of atomic apps that you can quite easily throw away. So you can rapidly build out apps on all sorts of devices, web, mobile, tablet, etc., um, against the common data service, against Dynamics 365 capability for sales, for service, for XRM, those kind of ideas. Um, and it really is makes a lot of sense. The vision is really amazing, so I encourage you to get onto it. Um, that works really well with something called Flow. So I think a number of you are familiar with Flow. I was on a call yesterday with uh, one of the architects working with me on an RFP um, out of India, and basically I'm going to paraphrase what he said a little bit, but his answer was Flow is the answer what is the question? So um, he sees flow as the answer to almost everything, but really good at notifications, also good at, you know, kind of collecting data to automate approvals and then synchronizing files. Um, at an enterprise level, this is logic apps, um, but really, really powerful functionality and something that's included in plan one. So something that you definitely need to uh, familiarize yourself with and go and see basically um, what capabilities and connectors this flow capability we have inside Microsoft has. Um, and it really works well in this mobile world. And you can see uh, mobile apps um, has a demand that is growing faster than IT departments can deliver it. And basically, our answer to that is Power Apps, uh, the ability to design these things quickly and then hook them up to things like the common data service, um, which would then in turn be connected up to sales service um, as well as uh, maybe even our business edition and operations. There you go, Denzel. So just it disappeared quite quickly, but you saw over here the types of connectors we've got. There's the obvious stuff like our real estate, Yammer, SharePoint, Office, OneDrive, etc. But there's some other compelling ones as well. So there's Google, there's Box, there's SendGrid, there's uh, Twitter, there's a whole bunch of different um, connectors as well and it's really almost a no code experience so you can just point and click and connect these different things together um, so that's really great and uh, no code necessary and then you publish them and it publishes both iOS and Android apps as well as web apps straight away <coughs> so um, Burke help if you don't want to create the same flow for every user you can either create a logic app that creates a different that, that creates a consistent flow across the enterprise so that's what logic apps is or if you need a different flow for every user then you'd use flow and create something different for every user but that wouldn't necessarily always make sense so you need to go and check out the difference between logic apps and flow and uh, this is basically just a screenshot of how you'd create an app from your data connect it design the form like that um, so you can easily create a form kind of like Microsoft Access for the 22nd century. Um, take advantage of device capabilities, so camera, GPS, pens. That was a big frustration for a lot of people with um, some of our original CRM mobility apps because you couldn't take advantage of the you know, iOS cameras and stuff like that. That's something that Power Apps does really well, and even the CRM mobility apps nowadays. Build your business, log uh, build business logic into your apps with Excel kind of uh, expressions, so that really easy to, to kind of get your business process logic into that uh, and then get multiple data sources together. So I really like the idea of like if you had a property development company and you needed to do like a site inspection app, you could really quickly build up a site inspection app, give it to the guys, they use it on their devices, <coughs> and then just as quickly um, throw it away because maybe it's, you know, replaced by something better business is moving on so quickly these days. You don't want to spend ages building out these apps and then trying to keep them up to date. Um, so these are almost uh, atomic and can be built up 
let go. They contribute to the common data service. You don't need to think about where that data goes and so on. Uh, and then when something better comes along or the business process changes, kill that down, bring up a new one. Um, apps are dead kind of from a consumer perspective. You remember we spoke about that last time with the rise of bots and so on. But in the enterprise space, we still want to make sure this data goes into a consistent store um, and that we can build out these apps rapidly. And that's why um, apps in an enterprise perspective still makes a lot of sense. I hope that makes sense to you and it doesn't sound like just rambling. Um, <clears throat> so here's a slide that's got way too many words on it for my liking, but we'll give it a bash anyway because I kind of like the message that it provides. So it speaks about building modern business apps fast, which is kind of where I was coming from on that previous slide. So the ability to measure, then act, and then automate these things. Um, empowering your line of business, so things like we've mentioned, Flow, Power Apps, Power BI. So the measuring is the analytics side that's using Power BI. The act is gathering this information and doing stuff, which is um, using Power Apps for the human beings. And then Flow is like linking all these different things together. And then the extended, the developers out there are able to extend these things using a lot of Azure capabilities. So all those um, great Azure pieces and Burkett, there you see the Azure Logic Apps. Uh, and then obviously the data that makes this all happen. So the common data service up in Azure or uh, Dynamics, bringing all the stuff together along uh, across our cloud properties, as well as connections and gateways to on-premise data. So for any of your kind of legacy applications as well. Um, offline access is a good question, Abdul. Um, top of my head. Yes, you can do offline access with the Power App stuff, but I'm not sure how much uh, limitation there is to that. And I don't believe that the serum lookups are there anymore, GVAN. I think those are all solved because I know there was some pain, but that was over a year ago. 